hello welcome back today we are meeting the new girls on real housewives of atlanta okay i don't even know who the new housewives are i know they said um somebody was gonna be joining them that has like a um it's like a beauty brand um i'm not sure if it was like a hair care line or something like that but her name is janelle stevens i think i don't know or camille or maybe the name of her products were i don't know i don't know but they said they were gonna have a new peach holder um and that was her she's like a she's a business owner and she has some some business in the beauty industry i can't remember um apparently this video from binge worthy has all the tea because y'all know these atlanta girls stay running to the blogs it is so annoying <laughs> but it just is what it is at this point um so yeah let's get into this video i have gotten so used to watching new episodes of the real housewives of atlanta on my tv screen during these cold winter months but things just ain't been the same since rona hit and honestly i blame rock nation i rock nation i deal with you <laughs> the show i just don't think they should be the peach holders i think some of them should be friends and they should bring some other people back i don't have an issue with this group i just don't think they can do it alone because this past season was horrible with candy's friend and r&b singer neo's baby mama manetta shaw reportedly gunning for peach but at the same time i can't help but feel just the wait manetta wants a peach say manetta wants a peach because if she want a peach she need to step it up a little bit Drew Sedora and Senior Richards Ross are all expected to be full-time cast members for the upcoming season again. With Candy's friend and R&B singer Neo's baby mama, Manetta Shaw, reportedly gunning for Peach. But at the oh, same okay. time, right. I can't help but you gotta feel just it, a little Sweetheart. disappointed because I feel like this was a missed opportunity for Bravo to try and right some of their wrongs and bring back at least one of our fan favorites. Yeah. And with Portia Williams' group Badia teasing her wedding for like the last several months and then finally delivering one of the most iconic weddings I've ever ever seen yeah for like the millionth and one time <laughs> bravo y'all really dropped the ball here but at least y'all decided to bring in some fresh new faces <laughs> now let's get into it speaking of new faces while it hasn't been officially confirmed the streets are saying that ceo and luxury boutique owner courtney raquel and natural hair guru janelle stevens have both been rumored to join season 15 okay. of the real yeah, housewives of atlanta Rumors of Janelle Stevens joining the show have been swirling for months now, and fans who followed the rumors were really excited to finally get to take a glimpse into her life as the founder and CEO of a natural hair care brand. Okay, yeah, Heroes I knew it was Natures something like that. That is available in more than 60 retail stores, including Whole Foods, Target, Walgreens, and all of the other spaces where black women are purchasing quality I've honestly hair never care heard products of all over the world. Oh. She's taking it. 
Uh, and in my last update about this, I talked about how I was shook when I saw that her hair care brand boasts over a half a million followers on the gram alone. And some of y'all came for me talking about how in the world have you not ever heard of Camille Rose? I haven't heard of her either. After all of their success. And might I remind y'all, underneath this beanie, I'm bald. Do y'all know how many people on Instagram have hundreds of thousands of followers? <laughs> It's so many people with hundreds of thousands of followers these days. That don't mean nothing. I didn't know who this lady was either. It should be interesting to see her in Kenya, though, since they both have hair care lines. And you know what? Y'all know Kenya is competitive. So, unless Auntie Janelle's gonna come out with some scalp shining products that I could use and, like, get this bald head shiny, I won't be walking down no hair care aisle anytime soon, so... I walk down them all the time, and I, I still ain't seen it. It's probably there, but I just don't be paying attention. No, because is it just me? Would it be really nice to see what her relationship with Kenya Moore would be like? I mean, I would hope that they would get that. along and we would get the chance to see them possibly collab and, you know, hook it up, do something real amazing together in the name of Black Girl Magic. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Not the bonnet child. Hope Monique ain't seeing this. Mm -hmm. See, you do clown comes back to bite <laughs> and yes janelle is definitely a whole wife because i know how some of y'all are about bravo picking ladies that try to come on the show just as single as the rest of us mm -hmm. with the whole housewife storyline and everything janelle has been married to dr johnny j stevens jr since 1996 oh that's they great have a beautiful family together but unfortunately as the rumors have started to pan out and footage from the group scenes have made their way onto social media, I've got to be honest and say that it's starting to look like either Janelle just wasn't bringing the heat and got demoted mm. or she changed her mind and clocked out early mm. and just won't be taking on a major role on the housewives this season yeah. because she hasn't really been seen linked up with our girls and attending many of the scenes that the other newbie Courtney has and that's just too damn bad life could be worse Bruh. no not really this is the worst this is the worst even still, I've been hearing a lot of really great things. I hope about Kenya didn't have nothing to do with that. And from the looks of things, since she they have really hair care business, the circle quite well. She's attending all of the major events, and she was even confirmed to have attended the all cast girls trip this season. That usually signals the end of an iconic season of filming. Courtney does not appear to be married on the gram, but she definitely has a beautiful daughter, and I can't wait to see what that dynamic is with her being a mother, and it appears that she's quite the entrepreneur, focusing on offering branding and marketing services, and Courtney is a luxury jewelry designer, so okay. I feel like we have a lot to work with. Okay. And from the looks of things, Courtney is a girl's girl, and she seems to be fitting along well in this group, which is always important for a new housewife. What'd you say, Marla? We're almost home, guys. We're almost home. Okay. 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 lot of you guys in the comments being shady expressing your lack of enthusiasm with these new faces and instead of showing the post love and being excited about the newbies i watched some of you guys shift the conversation towards another nimi leaks return to the real housewives of atlanta and honestly i feel like we would all be happy to have nimi leaks back but at this point it just feels like it's just way too complicated that's why I thought it was really interesting when Nene Leakes retweeted this fan sending social media into a frenzy, speculating about the subliminal tweet, which read, It's amazing to me. I don't know why she would want to be back. To return to these housewife shows, but Nene Leakes. I mean, I want her back, <laughs> obviously, but royalty. I don't even know why Where's she would want to come back. Nene did not add to the conversation. She simply just retweeted this, but... It made me happy Girl, let to that show that fail. If something changes, it's possible that Nene Leakes would consider rejoining the show. <laughs> I 
that walk. <laughs> conversation about her return has not been as subliminal as Cynthia Bailey recently joined the Jasmine brand founder for an exclusive interview and explain exactly what it would take for her to return to the show. I don't know if I can go back as a housewife because I just don't want to talk about my personal life. Gotcha. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Jeannie, she didn't want us to know Mike was a here. cheater. I okay. see what y'all doing. Y'all trying to rekindle that alliance that got Kenya Moore her job back. Now that I am back in Atlanta, I am definitely open to maybe going back as a friend. Because I do miss the ladies. I do miss the show. I just don't want to go back in the past where I have not my personal life. No, seriously. I think that it's really interesting that Cynthia has this stance now. Because I could be tripping, but I feel like... Cynthia quit because Bravo tried to originally offer her a friend exactly. of the show role, and she felt like they had tried. Yeah, exactly. Am I remembering history incorrectly? Am I delusional? <laughs> Am I tripping? Is there a chance? No. Girl. No. No, because after everything played out the way that it has played out, not Cynthia circling back like Bravo, Chow, the original offer looking real good right now. Can you see that over, please? Mm -hmm. It got lost somewhere in my email, Chow. Seeing that offer back over there, Chow. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> and I really can't even be mad, to be honest. And just like that, Queen Candy jumped on this quick and literally got Cynthia Bailey her peach while the Bravo cameras were filming for her peach social event in Atlanta just the other week. One thing about Candy is if you're on her good side, she gonna do what she needs to do to get you your job back. And who can be mad at that? funny okay yeah so that was that i guess that's all the tea on the new season so far um i think that's unfortunate that the entrepreneur the nah, they are entrepreneurs the lady um janelle i think that's unfortunate that um she stopped filming mid-season if that's the case um because i remember them saying she was going to be a peach holder but it turns out she's a friend but now she's not even that so I wonder what happened there. It can't be the fact that the cattiness or the drama or whatever, because I know she's seen the show. She had to have known what she was getting herself into. There's no way anybody is joining Housewives at this point and doesn't know what they're walking into. So I really wonder what changed her mind or what she expected versus what actually happened. I don't know. Cynthia's coming back, okay. <laughs> okay, I guess. Um, Mayetta wants a peach. She's gonna have to step it up a lot more if she wants a peach. My opinion, she didn't even earn the friend title. Like, she should have just been like, um, you know how Portia's sister is? Like, you just see her every once in a while. Like, that's what she, she wasn't given friend last year. I mean, if she, she wants a peach, <laughs> we gonna have to see something this season. Hopefully this season is interesting um, because it's the exact same cast from last year with um, the addition of like some new friends. So hopefully they bring it because they didn't last season. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts. What were your thoughts? Leave them down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.